Hello and welcome back to The Daily Royal, a podcast that covers the daily events of all the European royal families. Today we are going to be covering the incredibly small number of events on Monday, March 15th of 2021. Like I said, there's a very small number of events. Um, I was debating not even doing an episode today because I'm exhausted, because I'm still moving. I mean, most of it's done, but like I'm cleaning and all of that stuff. And yeah, I just wasn't going to do a podcast. And then like the fact that there was very little, but I'm sitting here at 8 PM court circular just came out and I'm not really doing anything. So I thought I would record. There's not a whole lot happening. Believe me. I know. Um, we'll probably have a shorter episode just because there's just not a lot to cover. Um, but every day this week, we'll just keep striving for an episode and keep it going. So we are going to start with the Belgian Royal family. Belgium, there were two events, but not a whole lot of details from these events. Um, so first, King Philippe held audience, uh, held an audience with the Deputy Prime Minister, um, who is the Minister of Economy for the Walloon government, I think, is what this uh, readout on social media means. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's what it is. Um, so they met in an audience today, and then afterwards, uh, King Philippe held an audience with the Prime Minister of Belgium. This is a weekly event. We talk about it every week. Um, yeah, there's there's literally nothing to add. Like, this is how the day is going to go. Um, there are events, and then there's nothing to add on to them, really. Um the exception being the Spanish royal family, but like even that's not a whole lot to talk about. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's let's make this interesting for both of, for all of us, both of us, sure. Um, so I'm gonna look. I haven't looked at the Belgian monarchy's website for a hot minute, so I'll take a peek at it, and we can see if they have any events coming up this week. Um, I do know, but I don't think that's this week. I think that's next Monday. Um, we talked about this on March 11th, uh, the episode that I recorded on March 11th about, um, European Terrorism Day and how there was a terrorist attack in Belgium five years ago, um, on March 22nd. So this year there will be a remembrance ceremony for that. Um, I don't know that a ton of details have been released on that yet, but they, it was confirmed, I think, I saw on on a Belgian royal family, like, reporter, um, that they would, King Philippe and Queen Mathilde would be in attendance of that. Um, and so we'll, we'll talk more about that when it's time. Um, so yeah, there is actually some stuff on the calendar. So there's something, King Philippe has something tomorrow and Wednesday, and then nothing else is scheduled until next Monday, but that doesn't mean there aren't pop-up things. So we will see what the rest of the week brings there. Um, and like I said, we will for sure when it's time to talk about the anniversary of the terrorist attack in Brussels, we will talk about it. Um, I have to educate myself a little bit more. I know a good bit, but I have to educate myself just a little bit more. Um, and so I will do that and we will talk about that for the episode that goes up in a week. Um, but yeah, that is what was going on in Belgium. And so now we are going to move to the UK where we will explore to see if there was anything on the court circular.
In the UK today, there wasn't a whole lot happening public-facing. Actually, there was nothing happening public-facing. Um, the social media world was incredibly quiet from every single uh, royal family social media account. Um, the, it is an anniversary of something that William started in 2016 um, that the Duke of Cambridge, I'm sorry, let me refrain from using his first name before I use his title. I know I did that, but um, I try not to do that very often. Um, so that happened, but like no official events or anything, no video of events, nothing. Like there's just, there's nothing. So we are going to pull up the court circular and see if there is one for today. And if there isn't, well, this was a really pointless segment. No, there is. There's a court circular. However, it has nothing from the top three um, sections, which is, I guess right now it's Windsor. Um, so that's the Queen and then Clarence House and then uh, Kensington for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. So, yeah. Um, okay, so not a lot was happening. So I guess we'll just move right along. But we'll keep this in here because it was funny to watch me, uh, to listen to me build it all up and then nothing. <laughs> so anyway, um, we are going to skip. Are you ready? We have a long list of skipping now. Um, we are going to skip Denmark because there was nothing. The Netherlands because there was nothing. We're skipping Norway, but there was an audience that Crown Prince Akun, who is serving as regent, held with the chief of the navy, but that's literally all I can say about it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and then we are going to go on to Spain. So let's do that now. So we do have quite a bit we can talk about in Spain today. Um, not really a lot, but more than we have had so far, that's for sure. Um, so today, King Felipe and Queen Letizia took part in the, um, it translates to the accreditation to the new honorary ambassadors of the Spain brand. And so from what I have gathered, and this is, I think this is an annual event. Um, I think it used to be held every couple of years, but then they did hold one last year. Um, and they've kind of held them consistently, I think since, maybe since Felipe became king, um, they held one, they've held one every year. But so what this is are people or companies who promote Spain and are kind of like a symbol of Spain. So some of the winners this year were um, Ibe I Iberia, which is the, um, I think it's definitely headquartered in Spain. Um, and I think it really only serves in Spain, like fly, like everyone can use Iberia to fly into Spain, I think. Um, I know when I look at flights to Spain, I always look with Iberia, um, just because like, that's the big airline. Um, it's for me, so I don't live super close to New York, but I live close enough that like I would, um, take a direct flight from New York to Madrid, um, using Iberia because that works. Um, <laughs> And then also the Prado Museum was one this year, um, which is a big, um, the I, probably the biggest art museum in Spain. Um, it's in Madrid and it holds a lot of um, Velasquez and definitely some other ones, maybe some Goyas, but I don't really remember. Um, I'm not an art person, so I don't quite know. Um, and yeah, I mean, there were lots of other brands. There, there was a golfer, um, 
for the athletic like ambassador and so last year I remember that went to the world champion of badminton um and this year it was to a golfer um I'm trying to see what else there is I'm gonna actually pull it up on Casa Real's website because we have time um so let me see um but so basically these are just like companies and people who represent Spain and um, give a good name to Spain in general. So other winners have been like Antonio Banderas, um, Jose Andres, who is the, um, he's a chef, but he's the founder of Central World Kitchen or World Central Kitchen. Um, that does a lot of work around feeding um, people during tragedy. Um, and so that was, um, he, he's he been an, an ambassador for the Spain brand a few times, which I find really funny because he actually now has American citizen, citizenship, but it's fine. <laughs> um, So then I'm, I'm just seeing what, so there, there are different, um, organ or different themes, categories, um, international relations, business management, social action, art and communication, tourism and gastronomy, sports, science and innovation, and extraordinary accreditation. Um, and these are all just like really high up there. Um, in terms of like their rec recognition. Um, so the people who hold these are really recognizable or their companies that hold them. Um, and it's just a way to honor the people who promote the best of Spain. Um, and yeah, so a lot to talk about there, but not really, um, just something to fill the time really. So this is, like I said, something that happens pretty annually. Um, it didn't seem to be held with a lot of modification from last year. Um, just social distancing and masks, but last year's event was held in the exact same location. Um, yeah, it was just very similar, just with the addition of masks and a little more social distancing. Um, yeah, so that's, that was, that's what the Spain brand ambassadors are. Um, so that was the first event, and then King Felipe also had an audience with the um, Secretary General for Ibero America. So Ibero America is a kind of um, what's the best way to describe this? Kind of like a um, like a partnership, like a, a trans-Pacific partnership, but not, I don't think it's focused on trade, um, or like NAFTA isn't, NAFTA is focused on trade, but it's like the North American, um, countries, um, kind of like the EU, but not completely, um, but it's between the Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain, Portugal, and Andorra, which we'll talk about in a couple, in a week, we'll be talking about Andorra, which I'm excited about, um, and the countries that used to be colonies of Spain and Portugal, um, that have now, they have, you know, things in common, similar ancestry, um, similar languages, things like that. So they've all kind of come together and created the Ibero-America partnership, um, that is holds like a conference every year that typically Felipe will go to and um, has frequent interaction with. So today he met with the secretary general um, and yeah, I, there's really not much to say on that one. So we've made it to 15 minutes. This was a really painful episode because it, I had to BS my way through to get to 15 minutes. Um, we're going to end there because there was nothing in Sweden. There's maybe some things happening tomorrow. We'll see what that looks like now. Um, but yeah, that that's the episode. <laughs>
really light. Um, so I'll have pictures of the events with the Spanish Royal family up, um, on the website, the daily Royal.com, the daily Royal on Instagram. Um, and then if you can like, and review this podcast, wherever you're listening to, um, to it, I would be very grateful. And yeah, with that, we're going to end this episode, but have a fantastic Tuesday and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.